Good morning guys, good morning once again. Welcome to South Africa Lately, a channel where we discuss South African trading news. We do however grab here and there from international news when it is trending enough to be brought here. We are about to hit 2,000 subscribers. Yay! Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. And one of these days when we reach about 50k subscribers, I am certainly going to be that on that camera in appreciation of my subscribers to show respect respect to my subscribers i appreciate those who are already there i'm excited about the ones that are yet to come but the issue that i'm bringing now is a very serious issue it is a very very serious issue it is that of the extortion of businesses schools healthcare facilities in the eastern cape now extortion has been going on for so many years there but it affected mostly the spaza shops the grannies and the children's grant it was their norm it was not getting the attention that it deserves so now that it has is affecting business now and schools and healthcare facilities it's going for professionals now it's getting the attention from the law enforcement outside the eastern cape because the one in the eastern cape is also being accused or accused of having a soft hand on such crimes because they're in cahoots with the criminals that's what they are being accused of by the people who are living in the eastern cape you can search your post yourself it is not coming out of my hand it has even brought out the king Kaya Dalinjabo to voice out his frustrations you can even see it on his face that he is frustrated let us do watch and hear what he said what I'm saying, in fact, is that no one must compromise the continuation of studies by kids because that's our future leadership. That's our future in the essence. So if anybody is so arrogant as to do that, then that person respects nobody at all. And we cannot give no respect to no one whose position comes from that point of arrogance. This must reflect badly on the Abatim kingdom. Is, is he Abate What Abate If I don't even know the bastard. Do you understand? If you are an Abate chief, you must be introduced to me. I must know you. Just like I know generals who are ruling this area. They are introduced to me. I know them. And when they go, I know that they're going. Now, which one is this one? Now that Unless these politicians are actually entertaining corruption in this highest level. Now that the learners and the teachers are coming back to school tomorrow, what are you going to do uh, King, to make sure that they are safe? The police will be making show rounds here. I will be coming myself at 8 o'clock here in the morning as I've spoken. School must continue here. If anyone wants to abuse teachers or children, then they must start with us. General. That abuse must start with me. The extortion. It's going to be dealt with because it's too deep. It's connected to politicians, and these boys they're not doing it on their own ground. Just as, just like those house grabbers, government property grabbers. What are they called? Pactoral group. That's another nonsense. That must be, in fact, eliminated right there on the king's face you can see the frustration and his frustration is the same as that of the community of mtata because this has been going on for the long long time without being dealt with so the sapc has put up a post saying criminal syndicate in mtata are demanding protection money from businesses schools and healthcare facilities you see they are leaving no one that could possibly have money in his pocket or her pocket they want everything so they've put up a number as well same sapc saying extortion is getting out of hand in tata in the eastern cape are you victim send us an anonymous voice note on this number you see um you can use that number maybe it could be of good help the national police commissioner general fanny masimula says police have been deployed in mtata and over eight suspects have been arrested so what is over eight i want to know is eight and a half two plus two eight plus two what is it why is it over eight <laughs> 
all right anyway moving from that one i do hope they arrest more people because this is giving hope for the people of the eastern cape they must get everyone everyone that is doing such a thing and people need a break in that place so someone who's been knowing about this says this is finally getting out of uh, getting coverage in mainstream media because it is affecting larger quote-unquote prey. In fact, extortion has been going on for years and it started with all oh, Makulu and their grant money. They uh, then all oh, my friend were targeted. It should have been nipped in the bud. It's a monster now. So this is a statement put out by an ophthalmologist that was operating in Imtata. So he or she was notifying people that, look, I'm closing business. I can no longer afford to operate because I'm being extorted every month. I'm supposed to pay more than 100,000 K to extortionists. I am not able to do that because my business cannot afford to be giving out that money every time like basically she's not affording to give them that money she had to close down or he had to close down he even said no it was so painful to read he said i'm going to miss my patients my workers the community do you understand our community has been so corrupt now in a way that we cannot we can hardly identify ourselves before all of this started to happen so it is a mess now we normally are a very peaceful people living in peaceful areas but our own people have turned on us now they've switched up on us you know can you imagine your own people extorting you like that so we this needs to be dealt with and dealt with asap it has been long going on but the people of the eastern cape need a break they really do need a break. As always, I've seen the comment section. Thank you for watching my videos. And thank you for almost 2,000 subscribers. Thank you guys. Do have a lovely, lovely day.